So John Cornwall, Jack Cornwall, his legacy is, is everywhere. He is an emblem of, of sacrifice and heroism. His name is on scout groups and cadet units. It's on streets and houses. His face appears on pin badges. He is the face of sacrifice in the First World War for many. Um, so his legacy is very strong, I would say. Jack's part is, is a significant one. He is a member of the forward guns crew on the light cruiser HMS Chester. So HMS Chester goes into action about halfway through the battle in company with some other ships. She essentially goes up against the entire German battle line. She's very heavily fired on and significantly damaged. When the smoke clears on her forward deck, Jack is the only member of his gun's crew left standing. He is catastrophically wounded. He's clinging onto the gun. The ship is very badly damaged. The ship is sent home while the battle's still going on. Jack is still alive when the ship docks but he dies shortly afterwards. And initially, he's just one more casualty of the Battle of Jutland. He's buried in a pauper's grave. But then the media get hold of the story. The headline is produced that Beatty's boy hero has been buried in a pauper's grave. And very rapidly, his status changes. And that point, really, the, the, the real Jack disappears and the legend of Jack starts to appear. Um, he is exhumed from his common grave. He's buried with full naval honours at his home in London. He's decorated posthumously with the Victoria Cross. And that's really when the legend grows. I think Jack's story is very relevant for us today. Jack is a timeless story of youthful sacrifice. Um, wars have almost invariably been fought by very young people. Um, and I think in some senses that the First World War was a war that looked backwards as much as it looked forwards. Um, for me, there's something really quite moving about the fact that Jack Cornwall, this working class kid from Newham, ultimately they, they put a plaque on the deck of HMS Chester. So this, this young working class kid is commemorated in exactly the same way as Admiral Lord Nelson about a hundred years before. It's a real change in the way that, that we look at the armed forces. The legacy of Jack Cornwall for the Royal Naval Benevolent Trust is the John Cornwall National Memorial Arms House, which is in Hornchurch in Essex, where we look after disabled and infirm members of the naval community. So it's a great privilege for us to be able to translate his gallantry and the memory of his, his sacrifice into the modern era where we can look after the former generation of, of naval veterans.